Hello, my name is Alex Reitzma. Today, I'm going to show you the reporting functionality within Trimble Field Link. This is a primary piece of the BIM to field workflow. However, one that is often overlooked. Reporting trouble issues, layout deviations, as well as overall progress is a vital piece of communication between design teams and construction teams. I will also briefly show you the integration of Trimble Connect, which is the backbone of this communication between teams in the field and office. So let's take a look at this first. To sign into Trimble Connect, hit the More Workspace icon. Then hit the Trimble Connect area, and simply type in your email and password. If you don't already have a Trimble Connect password, you can create one here at the bottom icon. I'll just type in my password now. Now that I've signed into Trimble Connect, any reports that I create uh, within Trimble Connect can be uploaded uh, via the Trimble Connect cloud directly to the office. Hitting the More Workspace icon now, uh, let's go into the Reports area, and first let's look at the Daily Layout Summary. At the top, you get a date of layout. Um, the Daily Layout Summary uh, records all data done, and any area uh, or date that you see highlighted in blue means that there was layout done that day. Hitting that date, um, we can also add some notes in here, and um, this is great to communicate to perhaps superintendents uh, on a job what layout was done. Uh, this daily layout summary is going to record every point laid out when the layout was started as well as points per hour. Uh, this can be used to manage multiple layout teams on multiple jobs, uh, so this is a great communication tool to all stakeholders. Uh, so perhaps the note would be, um, you know, layout on 6th Street. Now hitting the folder for the destination of saving this, uh, we can now upload this directly to Trimble Connect. After it loads the Trimble Connect projects that I have created, uh, we can simply select a project to upload this to, and all stakeholders within that project will receive this report. Hitting Preview generates the daily layout summary, and now we can take a look at what was created. You can see the point I've laid out, as well as the deviation of that point from design. Now hitting save, we'll upload this point directly to Trimble Connect. Similarly, going back into the More Workspace icon and the reports, we also have a layout deviations. The difference here is that you can do a layout deviations for a range of dates. So this is going to record all layout done on this TFL file. Uh, this is a great way to show progress on a job and um, all points that have been done rather than just a single day. So, we also get a little bit more information on this layout deviations, such as original uh, design coordinates, as well as the delta from that where it was laid out. So hitting save again, uh, we'll load this directly to uh, the Trimble Connect Cloud. The last report I will show you here is the field report. You see one other one here for the surface report, which is going, I've gone over in another surface analysis video. Um, so I'll just jump into the field report for now. The field report is a great way to record trouble issues on a job. Um, perhaps as you're laying out, you see something that maybe need to be, need to be communicated uh, to the design team or perhaps start the process for an RFI. Some things that we need to look at here, again, the destination. We can save this directly to the Trimble Connect uh, cloud here. And I'll load it into uh, my project I've created. And uh, I'll give it a name here. So this, again, I'll call 6th Street and perhaps I have some additional notes I want to communicate about this issue out in the field I, that I see. Now the key for this is that I need to add some pictures. If I have Trimble Vision uh, on my either RTS 773 or 873, uh, I can take pictures directly from the robotic total station, um, or I can take pictures from my tablet. The icons on the left allow you to choose which pictures you'd like to add, and so, for example, I'll add this um, slightly fuzzy one from the back of my tablet, and I'll switch over to the robot. And you see now the Trimble Vision opens on my robot, which is pointing to a prism, and so I can take a picture there as well. Uh, the capture icon at the bottom right is how you add additional pictures to the report. Popping back to uh, the details I'd like to add, I can also uh, take a shot at the top right to add a location. Uh, this is going to add the coordinates of this issue uh, that you're having out in the field so that the teams in the design and the office can look this up 
wherever you are on the field. So then um, we'll hit preview. We're going to then create the PDF report. And now we see uh, the X, Y, and Z coordinate of that problem issue that we're, they were having, as well as all the pictures that were taken. Uh, any notes also would be uh, displayed here. It's important to keep in mind that these notes could be a paragraph long as if you want to have uh, communicating the exact details of the problem you're having. Simply hitting save now uploads this report directly to the Trimble Connect cloud. Um, so it gives you an option to store photos taken in local picture directory. Uh, this is a great historical record tool for you and this will store it in a photos folder within the Trimble field link in documents. So we'll hit yes to do that. And now it says saving reports to Trimble Connect and now we have uploaded that directly to the office and using the Trimble Connect sync tool they should receive that in the office. If you'd like to learn more about tips and tricks check out our YouTube channel or contact your local building point representative. Thanks for watching.